How's it going everybody? It's Warren. Welcome back to my channel, The Cosmic Wonder, where we talk about Marvel and of course everything relating to the MCU. Today we're going to talk about quite possibly the strongest mutant ever, but definitely one of the most powerful Marvel Comics characters ever created. And talk about how the Fantastic Four come into the MCU, which we know is something that is going to be happening within the next two to five years, so to speak how their arrival is going to eventually bring this mutant to the MCU. And also take a step back and look at everything that we know so far about the future of the MCU and what has happened in the past. We can see how the way for this character to enter the MCU has already begun to be paved. And it has ties to Ant-Man and the Wasp, Ant-Man 3, the Wanda Vision series coming up, and Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness as well. If you're new, be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all content relating to the MCU, and I am less than 2,000 subscribers away from giving away an Xbox One or a PS4, so be sure to subscribe. So the way has been paved for the Fantastic Four to enter the MCU. Kevin Feige himself has even mentioned it at San Diego Comic-Con that they are coming, along with the mutants. And in our case, we are kind of talking about both. The arrival of Reed Richards, Sue Storm, Johnny Storm, and Ben Grimm to the MCU is also going to eventually bring another character to the MCU. Many of the comic readers already know who I'm talking about, and that is Franklin Richards, the son of Reed Richards and Sue Storm. Yes, in the comics, Mr. Fantastic and the Invisible Woman do have children. And not only do they have children, but Franklin Richards is one of the most powerful mutants and characters to ever come into existence. And as I mentioned before, the way is currently being paved for him to enter the MCU, which we'll talk about, but first let's talk about his powers and what makes him one of the most powerful characters ever. Because he's so powerful that at one point in time, he basically uses Galactus himself as his personal puppet. Now Franklin as a child is actually a pretty moderate and dormant for the most part child with his powers only being telepathy and telekinesis. But the story of how he gets his powers are actually quite remarkable. Sue Storm is pregnant with Franklin at the time, but she is dying. She's dying due to the cosmic energy that originally gave her and the rest of the Fantastic Four team their powers, and Franklin from inside is feeding off of this energy and her own life energy. So in order to save her and the baby, Reed Richards says that they have to go inside of the negative zone, which is very similar to the quantum realm in the MCU, and retrieve antimatter that will save her. The Human Torch and the Thing say that Mr. Fantastic can't go alone, so the three of them go into the negative zone. There they encounter a Nihilus with a cosmic control rod. They eventually defeat him and they realize that the cosmic control rod is what they need to save Sue Storm. They take it back and they are able to use the cosmic control rod to essentially balance the energy inside of Sue Storm and Franklin is born and everything is okay. Now, the cosmic control rod is used to give the holder the ability to manipulate matter and energy, and it also gives them power over cosmic energy. And Franklin gets some of his powers from the cosmic control rod since it was used to save his mother and him. But he is also officially deemed a mutant. In the House of M storyline, the Scarlet Witch says no more mutants, and she reduces the mutant population by 90%. There's only a hundred and something mutants left after she says this, but the comic does say that Franklin Richards is indeed a mutant, and he is one of the survivors. Now again, as a very little child, his powers were pretty simple and basic, but he would have flare-ups here and there. For example, one time Norman Osborn, when he was the head of S.H.I.E.L.D., came into the Baxter building and was threatening Mr. Fantastic, who of course is his father. Franklin was holding a toy gun, and he told Osborn to leave, and when he didn't, he squeezed the trigger and a real bullet came out and he shot Norman Osborn in the arm. This was a sign of his matter manipulation and his reality manipulation abilities, because there is a difference between matter manipulation and reality manipulation, which we'll get into in just a second. Now, where his powers truly start to develop is when a future version of himself comes to visit him. His future self comes to visit his past self because in the future, his father, Mr. Fantastic, is dying. So he came to awaken the powers of his past self, that way he can stop whatever is causing his father to die. His powers are now awakened, and his matter manipulation and reality manipulation begin. He starts to create entire universes under his blanket at night, and his future self comes back and starts to teach him how to harm and use his powers. They create a blank universe, which is basically a universe where the two of them just learn. So he starts to learn how to create things. He creates suns, planets, solar systems, and even life. He basically becomes God and creates entire universes. Eventually, a group of 
celestials called the Mad Celestials come from a different timeline and they end up destroying Galactus. And here's where we learn why the future Franklin Richards had been coming back in time to teach the current Franklin Richards. And that is because all of the power that has been building up in the young Franklin Richards over time, he has been taking. So he takes all of the power that has been built up over time of his younger past self and he gives it to himself and he essentially doubles the amount of power that he has. He's so powerful that the Celestials don't even recognize him as Franklin Richards. They recognize him as an Omega level mutant. So they're trying to figure out just who he is and they're going over things saying reality distortion, universal shaper, galactic constant danger, danger doom. What they now recognize him as this universal omnipotent being. And he's so powerful that he actually raises Galactus from the dead. He brings him back to life and then Galactus serves as his servant. And then the two of them attack and defeat the Celestials together with ease. The fight is over very, very soon. Franklin Richards is destroying Celestials by himself with one single punch and then commanding Galactus as a puppet as well to kill the Celestials. So as you can see, he is an insane powerful mutant, probably the strongest mutant to ever be created in the Marvel Comics universe. Now unfortunately, when we eventually get Franklin Richards, they're definitely going to have to nerf him. He's not going to be able to have all of these powers naturally. They'll probably give him telepathy and telekinesis, but reality warping is really OP. Just think about Thanos and the Infinity Gauntlet. It had massive power in Avengers Infinity War and Avengers Endgame, but it was nerfed from how powerful it was in the comics. In the comics, Thanos snapped half of the universe out of existence with ease, and he there continued to defeat all of the X-Men and Avengers and then take on the cosmic beings themselves, all without the gauntlet or himself being harmed. And it's going to be the same thing for Franklin Richards when he eventually enters the MCU. They're going to nerf him down a little bit. So let's talk about the groundwork in the MCU that has already been laid and the future groundwork that will be laid for him to enter the MCU. To start off with, the way he originally gets his powers is because his father, Reed Richards, Mr. Fantastic, has to go into the negative zone to collect antimatter which is supposed to heal him. This sounds pretty familiar, doesn't it? Just think of the negative zone like the quantum realm because in the MCU, that's most likely what it's going to be. And we learned from Ant-Man and the Wasp that the quantum realm has certain healing factors. And in the post credit scene for Ant-Man and the Wasp, we learned that you could collect those healing particles from the quantum realm. Now, the Fantastic Four have a deep connection with the negative zone and what is called the microverse, which is actually the quantum realm in the MCU. They've spent a lot of time in there and it's widely believed that that's how they're going to be making their MCU debut. So eventually, in the MCU when Sue gets pregnant and her life is at jeopardy, Mr. Fantastic and the rest of the Fantastic Four can go inside the quantum realm to collect the healing particles. And then of course there's the cosmic control rod. Now, not much has been said about Annihilus entering the MCU, but one person who has been said to be coming very soon is Kang the Conqueror. Now Kang's base, which is called Chronopolis, exists in the comics in a place called Limbo. It's a place where time exists kind of differently, much like the quantum realm. And it's widely believed that the city inside of the quantum realm that we saw in Ant-Man and the Wasp, that's where Kang is, and that's Chronopolis. And there could very well be the power cosmic inside of that city. And another thing is that when Franklin Richards was a child, his parents gave him to Agatha Harkness so she could look after him for a while. They didn't fully give him up, but when they were working and when they went on missions, Agatha Harkness looked after him. And Agatha, from afar, using her witchcraft powers, would end up helping the Fantastic Four several times on several different missions, warning them about danger. Now, if you're wondering why Agatha Harkness is a familiar name, it's because she also helped train the Scarlet Witch. In fact, she announced that she was quitting being the governess of Franklin Richards because she had to go help tutor the Scarlet Witch. So essentially she left Franklin for Wanda. And it's pretty much all but confirmed that Katherine Hahn is going to be playing her in the WandaVision show. We have leaked photos of Katherine Hahn's character in what looks to be the Salem Witch Trials. And these are photos leaked directly from the set of WandaVision, so we know that Agatha Harkness is going to play a pretty big role in the television show. So it could be possible that in the timeline of the MCU, before she ends up with Wanda, for whatever reason in the WandaVision show, she could have been with Franklin Richards before. Because we all think that right now, the Fantastic Four as a group currently exist in the MCU, we just haven't seen them yet. Fox has already done the origin story for the Fantastic Four and it's widely believed that Disney's gonna change it up a little bit. 
But as I mentioned, right now there are many factors in the MCU that could, one, bring in the Fantastic Four, which we know is going to be happening relatively soon, and two, bring in Sue Storm and Mr. Fantastic's child, Franklin Richards. And when this happens, the most powerful mutant to ever be created by Marvel Comics will be in the MCU. Now again, of course he'll be nerfed a little bit and he won't have all of these vast cosmic powers to just be able to control everything at will, but no doubt he will be a very powerful mutant in the MCU. So let me know what you think about this. Do you think that Franklin Richards should be nerfed and if so, what powers do you think that he should retain in the MCU? Let me know in the comments down below and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to stay up to date on everything relating to the MCU. For live updates on MCU news, you can follow me on Twitter and as always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.